Jim Dip Su, everyone. Welcome back. Ngai ni yeung te stir fry crab. We have some crab. Today, we're actually gonna be making salted stir fry crab. Okay, so thank you to Silas um, who recommended this to me. I was like, what are you talking about? Salted crab using bong tie pray, salted duck eggs. I was like, that's strange, but I'll try it. So it's pretty much, as you can see, it's all of the yolk from inside of the salted duck egg mashed up and supposedly it's supposed to to basically create this like creamy goodness is what he says. I'm going to try it and see if it comes out good. If it doesn't, then I'll let you guys know. I'm using a Curtis Stone Durapan. Thank you, Real Tian Young, for letting me know about this pan because I see her cooking with it all the time. I'm trying to learn the ways. All right, so we're gonna use a stick of butter. It's a lot, I know, but the recipes that I was looking at, I was like, they use a stick of butter, so let me just do the same. Hope 2020 is going well for you guys. All right, so while this is melting, we're gonna put some fresh chopped garlic. The first thing that we're gonna do is cook the crab first and everything, and then we'll put the pong tie pray in here. I thought it was really a strange um, concept, but Silas was telling me that when you're in Cambodia, that it's a very uh, expensive dish to get in Cambodia. That's what he said. I don't know if it's true. Those that are from there, let me know. Um, but he said that like, it's just expensive to order. this is gonna cook I'm gonna put some black pepper on here I love black pepper because I feel like anytime you're cooking with seafood a lot is better than none because all the uh, <laughs> the seafood the ethnic of it it kind of kills it all together so all right so we're gonna cover this for about five minutes hey so now that this has been cooking uh, we're going to open it and see what's going on here. All right, look at that. It's pretty much cooked. Right. We're gonna keep this on high. That our pumpkin pie, okay? So, like I said, this has already been mashed. I have about five salted duck eggs right here. Just the yolk, okay? And the yolk from the pompe pray is like the best part. So I'm excited that we're cooking with this today. Then you got some chilies. This is optional if you like chili. And then some skull because Khmer, I don't know. We just like to cook with skull. <laughs> and then um, green onions. Slick them. I've only eaten pong tie pray with um, baba, so this is like really interesting. So it looks like the yolk from the pong tie pray is making the sauce like really creamy. Almost looks like a scrambled egg, but it's not a scrambled egg. So you see it's like starting to get cut like thick. I've seen this made like different ways, so I'm hoping that this way tastes good. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Silas, if this tastes nasty, I'm gonna blame it on you. <laughs> it looks good though. Looks like all of the yolk and everything is starting to like get really, really thick. And the optional ingredient that I didn't mention in here is. I've seen people use evaporated milk if you want like a thicker sauce, but for this case, we're just gonna try out this recipe. All right, so it looks like the sauce is already kind of stuck onto our crab. It looks good to me. Let's 
try this. I'm like nervous but excited at the same time. Like I said, I've only had Pongti Prai with Baba. Also, it's just me eating this, so I don't need, need to hear no elder putting my fingers in here. Okay. I want to find like a claw. I found it. I found the claw. Ow! Ha! Alright. Here is the claw. See some of the sauce in here. See? Here we go. Let's see. Mmm. Oh my god. That's really good. So let me explain the taste to you guys. It literally tastes like bumpy fry with um with chakadam. <laughs> It has like a like a nice like savory like creamy taste to it uh, mixed with the butter and garlic and everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and try some of the insides of our crab here mmm oh my god I'm gonna put some bye in here. Yummy. Oh my God. I'm so good. Yeah. I'm down with this flavor. You guys definitely have to try this. I guess like another way to explain the flavor of the crab is that the yolk from the salted duck egg is pretty much like coated every piece of the crab in the inside because I also, um, you know, I dumb all of the, the, claw, the claw pieces so that all the nutrients and everything would like seep into the claws. Guess what? I just want to taste the pong pie pie part. Mmm. Oh my god. This right here. Ooh. It's like the garlic, the butter, the pong pie pie. And then some of the guts from inside the crab has seeped into it. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm gonna do this. Put it in here. Ooh. All right, you guys can see that. Wow. Pieces of the crab. It's so perfect. All right, I'm gonna do one more, <laughs> one more bite of the inside with some pie, and then let's just call it a day. It's 
good. Thank you, Silas, for this recommendation. You guys, I definitely recommend you try this recipe. It's very different, okay? So if you're used to other chak dam, it's not gonna taste the same. It literally tastes like pong te fry. The yolk part coated over like stir fried crab. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye.